typhoid or enteric fever usually takes place by eating the contaminated food and water. The bacteria invades the intestine where it is eaten up or phagocytized by the macrophages where it lives in the pear patches and the, it proliferates. The first sign or symptom that you will see is the fever with the chills and rigor and having the sweating episodes, rose colored spots on the body, low pulse, headache, nausea, vomiting with cough, with bronchi there and in the investigation it comes with the leukopenia, eosinophenia and lymphocytosis. In late phases you can see loose motion and in about 2 to 3 percent patients you will see hepato or splenomegaly. Now you should rule out other things also that means differential diagnosis of typhoid. It may be respiratory tract infection, it can be malaria, it may be viral infections, it may be brucellosis, it can be deep pyogenic abscess, it may be kala azar, dysentery or sabe. Viral test usually comes positive in the second week. Diagnosis is made by blood test, stool test and viral test. The antibiotic therapy that usually given is ceftriaxone 1 to 2 gram per day by IV made for first to 2 weeks, azithromycin 1 gram per day for 5 days when the diagnosis has been not made. If diagnosis has been made, you can give the tablet ciprofloxacin 500 milligram PD as well as uh, tablet amoxicillin and tablet septron. In multidrug resistant cases, azithromycin, ciprofloxacin and ceftriaxone works well.